Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a closer look at the frictional head loss and how to calculate it. So first of all, again, if we have Bernoulli's equation, we have this additional term that's caused by the friction, internal friction of uh, what's inside the fluid and the way the fluid reacts with the dimensions and the structure of the pipe itself. And so we have this term that includes now what we call the frictional head loss, which is basically the additional term that's added to the right side of the equation, which acts as if you have to push the fluid to a higher height since the units of the frictional head loss is the same as the units of the height of the pipe. And notice that the density and G is the same in both of these terms. So it's essentially as if you were to push the fluid to a greater height. How do you calculate the frictional head loss? Well, it's equal to FLV squared over 2DG. Now, F is what we call the friction factor. And it's determined by how fast the fluid flows in a way, how the fluid reacts. Essentially, it's calculated to be 64 divided by the Reynolds number. And of course, the Reynolds number has to do with the internal uh, action and forces inside the fluid. And we'll get into that in more detail in the next video. We also, it also depends on the length of the pipe, the velocity squared, the diameter, and the acceleration due to gravity. If you want to look at the units, of the frictional head loss. You can see that the units of the, uh, the friction factor is going to be um, unitless, so we'll just write one. The units for length is meters, velocity is meters per second, but it's squared. The units of diameter is meters, and the units of g, the acceleration due to gravity, is meters per second squared. When you simplify that, indeed we get meters, so you can see that the units for the frictional head loss is the same as the units for height. So how would you calculate the frictional head loss? Well, let's assume that we have a Reynolds number of 640, a length of pipe of 100 meters, a diameter of about 1 inch, which is 0 0.025 meters, and a velocity of 0.5 meters per second. Well, let's go ahead and calculate the frictional head loss. So F sub H is equal to, first of all, the friction factor, which is 64 divided by the Reynolds number. Now, the Reynolds number is 640, so 64 divided by 640 would be 1 tenth, so 0 0.1. We multiply that times the length of the pipe, which we said was to be 100 meters. The velocity squared, so that's 0 0.5 squared, divided by 2 times the diameter, which is 0 0.025, and the acceleration to gravity is 9.8. And remember, the units are going to be meters, so that will be equal to. So we have 0.1 times 100, that would be 10 times 0.5 squared, divided by 2, divided by 0 0.025, divided by 9.8, equals, and we get 5.1 meters. So essentially what that means is that the action of the friction of the fluid inside the pipe make it as if we have to push the fluid to a height that's 5.1 meters higher than the actual height of the pipe and on the, end, on the end point of the pipe. And so therefore, that would be the extra work required then to push it to that greater height. In essence, it's not the greater height, it's the additional force required to push the fluid through because of the frictional forces between the fluid and the pipe and the internal friction forces within the fluid. And those are determined by the Reynolds number, which are a factor of how fast the fluid flows and the inter-forces, inter-molecular forces inside the fluid. We'll get into the Reynolds number in more detail in our next video. And that is how it's done.